I've talked about this before. But I was oblivious to the fact that so many people wanted to lose weight. And I'm not saying that to be funny. Until I realized that 76% of Americans are overweight. And so, once I realized that, I realized how much money is in the weight loss industry. And so these two companies today, Eli Lilly and the Vardas, they both skyrocketed today. Now these two companies we've been talking about it for a long time, been talking about it for months. Well, today the company was up $72, and then I think the other one went up maybe like $17, $18. They are going to be the face of weight loss. And actually, that's what drove this. So Eli Lilly is a company that I like because why? The company not only is the largest insulin dealer in the world, now they're going to be the number one weight loss. They're going to have the number one weight loss product in the world to do a shot. And now they also have an Alzheimer's drug in the pipeline. Watch what I'm about to tell y'all. These are three drugs that if a person get on them, they'll never get off of them. So somebody in the comments today was like, trap, that stock gonna fall because people starting to realize how they can get off insulin. I said, that's only a small few. People are comfortable with doing what they want to do and they feel like they got a medicine for it, they're gonna rock out. There's only a small few people, I'm gonna keep it real, there's only a small few people that really care about their health. If you did, you wouldn't eat McDonald's. It's the reason why they call it fast food though. The harsh truth is people don't really care about their health like they say they do. Now, there's a handful of us that really be like, nope, I'm not eating that. But because they know that, what I told y'all, America does what? Sell the poison and sell you the what? At the same time, they sell you the cure too. So this is about to be, watch this, I did some homework on it. Let's go a little further, watch this. Boom, weight loss, a billion dollar play, watch this. Morgan Stanley estimates that over the next 7 to 10 years, 7, of the, 7 more percent of the population will want to lose weight. Watch this. Go a little further. Ozempic, I, I can't pronounce the other three drugs. Watch this. In, 20, in 2019, it was only 230 people using the drugs. In 2022, 5 million people started using it. That's a big jump. Go a little further. Right here, weight loss drug. Estimated reduction in calories up to 20 to 30 percent reduction in calories per day. I'm telling you that once people realize that losing weight, I can lose it from taking a shot. What you think they're going to do, y'all? And I ain't tripping because I own a company. I'm not mad at you. Sensational. I don't be tripping. Or, like, I'm going to keep real with you. I don't be tripping because I know people gonna do with people gonna people. I'm not emotional about people peopling. All I ask myself is how do I put myself in a position when people do start peopling, I can make a whole lot of money from it. Without it going against my moral code. Right? Like I'll never buy a company like Johnson and Johnson because they intentionally they knew they was giving people cancer. I'll never buy a drug company, I'll never buy a prison company because I know what it's like to be in prison. I ain't gonna never buy them type of companies, but I will 100%. I understand that people want to lose weight because it make them, you know, it make you have more confidence. Guess what? If you're gonna lose weight, you you gonna use Eli Lilly because it's the drug. Guess what? If people are on insulin, guess what? 92% of people on insulin use who? Eli Lilly. Why am I trying to, why am I trying to fight that? It's about putting myself in position when I know people gonna do what people do. Now, if this goes against your moral code, guess what? Don't be a part of that. I'm all about moral investing. But I do understand that the nature of people is to say what? This is the game I'm playing. Watch this, let's go a little further. Watch when I go a little further, boom, watch this. Obesity, drugs, food impact. Yo, this now gonna impact the food industry. Cause people are love sugary drinks. People love snacks. People love fast food. These are the leading causes of what? Weight gain. 
So you know what people gonna do? People gonna eat the fast food, people gonna eat the snacks, people gonna eat the Oreos and then take the shot. So come on, man, y'all act like y'all don't know what the people gonna do. You know what the people gonna do? Now the people gonna work out and have three cheat days a week. Oh, it's a cheat day. You just had a cheat day Monday. Oh, this is the other one. How many you get? And I take the shot. What you talking about? I'm on the shot. I'm just saying if we start understanding how to truly play the game, we start understanding the dynamics of the game, we can just put ourselves in position to win at the game. Putting ourselves in position to win the game is not about being, it's not about being, <laughs> y'all done broke my train of thought. Y'all see what I see on the screen? That boy been taking a shot. The shot gives you six toes. I don't want that shot. Don't take the shot. <laughs> hey, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Side effects of the shot. Six toes. Enlarged breast. Brain tumor. High blood pressure. May vomit. Suicidal thoughts. Did I say six toes again? <laughs> ah, that's all right. But I'm going to lose weight, though. Listen, Jose said, if trap, put the disclaim out there. If you got six toes, I'm not mad at you. Put your feet out in the sand, love. All right, so watch this. So here are the companies that I feel, I ain't say get the lights on. I say the lights up. The lights up. Not the lights. Like boys in the hood. Hit the lights. All right, so watch this. Um, Hershey's, Mondelez Brands, Hostess, and Campbell's Soup, I, McDonald's, Domino's, um, even companies like uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I truly feel like these companies will be affected because what's going to happen is I'm going to be real with you. The one thing I have learned is people that work on their health, once they do it, they do try to make better health decisions. And so I feel like companies like Vital Farms, Simply Good, um, companies that alter, that have healthy food options will benefit from this. Like we the only one do a live show with this much production. Like we bar none, we just different. We not in competition with nobody. To see somebody that looks like us talk about stocks because I had never seen that before. You know, we buy during the drought and a recession is the best time to buy. I feel a whole bunch of wealth up in here, y'all. Someone who gives me raw and uncut information. I know how to break down a company. I know how to invest. Being a more confident investor. That Wall Street does look like us, no cliche. I will no longer fertilize my fears. That financial trauma has to be broken. We got to understand that we are more than consumers. One share at a time can change your life, change your life. What we doing? What we doing? We're printing money, baby. I think over the last couple of years, um, just being in America has made everyone realize that there's no such thing as job security. It's time to take accountability. It's time to be responsible. It's time to make the sacrifices. It's time to put in the work because this time it done got worse. Because this time ain't no saving you. Walmart just came out and said it was the biggest player in the game and they backed it up by numbers. Walmart is the biggest company in the world by revenue. Here's what I, do, here's what I respect about Walmart. Walmart never said that I'm going to give you the best products and services. 
They ain't never said that. You put them clothes on from Walmart one time. Done. Smoked. But you got something on for the day. Walmart ain't never say we're going to give you the best goods. They always say we're the low price leader. So Walmart is named the world's largest corporation by revenue. Walmart's digital advertising business grew by 30 percent last year to 2.7 billion. The retail giant owns and operates more than 10,000 markets, discount department stores and grocery stores in 24 countries. Here's what's dope about Walmart that I noticed. Walmart said that we will put a Walmart within 10 miles of our average consumer. So even if they don't give you the big Walmart, guess what they give you? The neighborhood Walmart. And you know the difference between the neighborhood Walmart and the big Walmart. But all of it goes to the bottom line at the end of the day. Let's go a little further. And here's the companies that they compete against. Walmart bringing in $600 billion. Um, Saudi, the, arm, the oil company, $603 billion. Watch this, Amazon, $514 billion. Watch this, ExxonMobil, $414 billion. Apple, $394 billion. Shell, $386 billion. And United Healthcare, $300-something billion. Think about this, y'all. Walmart is bringing in $611 billion in revenue every year. Here's my question to you. If you're trying to figure out a stock to own, that means... Now, for all my bougie people going on their own target. We understand y'all like a little Starbucks while you shop. We understand that you like the red and blue, I mean the red and khaki cohesion that they have going on over there. We see that you like the air conditioning works. We know you like the escalators in the wall. We, we, it's okay. Walmart ain't giving you none of that. Put the buggy over here and get what you got to get. <laughs> no, man, we don't got it. <laughs> it's a big difference, right? Now that I think about it, bro, it's a big difference between Walmart and Target, Jose. It's peaceful. We need to talk about that a little more. Why is there such a huge distinction? Brandon. Where Nikki at? Deeper than the brand. Shout out to my girl. Damn, I ain't never think about that, Jose. Walmart gives you Starbucks in there. That's when you know the game is different. Target gives you Walmart. That's, God damn it. I should have known. Target gives you Starbucks. Walmart gives you McDonald's. God damn it. I've been bamboozled, <laughs> run amok, led astray. Damn. Eat fresh. God damn it, we just gonna flush that shit. I'm flabbergasted, bruh. 